Hello again guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make avocado open face breakfast sandwich. Here are the ingredients of the breakfast sandwich. Pause to write down. We're going to go ahead and use this Kendall's Cracked Parmesan. I found this uh, seasoning not too long ago. It's really good. I can't believe it's not butter, salt, parsley, and uh, those will be primarily the ingredients that we're going to use for this Um Thinking about eat, eating healthier, so this is a great breakfast. It fills you up. You don't have to worry about snacking afterward because you'll pretty much be full all the way to your next meal. First, I put the butter into a medium frying pan, put the top on, let it melt. And then once uh, it's all melted, I go ahead and add my four eggs. Now, it is important that the eggs are separated because of the way it's going to be um, put on top of the toast. Um, so I wanted to make sure that my eggs had their own pod. <laughs> so I had to actually move one um, unruly yolk um, back to its pod, which is okay. So I went ahead and did that. And um, as you can see now, they're all separate. Then I take a pinch of salt. And when I say a pinch, I mean a really small pinch of salt. Um, and then I add my uh, Kinder's cracked pepper, uh, Parmesan um, cracked pepper there, and about a teaspoon of that. Um, and then I put my top on and go ahead and let it simmer. Then I add my parsley flakes about one minute in um, so it can be nicely on top to add that pop of color. I love color on my food. Um, so therefore, um, I added it on after about a while so it doesn't sink in. Then I go and go ahead and get my avocado clean. I was going to take these peelings off, but I'm not really using the avocado on the outside. So I just make sure that the outside is pretty clean, um, paper towel dry. And then I, these are the only things that I'm using. I'm using a masher, using a, um, of course, my avocado. And then I have um, one of my spoons that have like a point at the end and then a nice clean bowl. I cut my avocado in half from hemisphere to hemisphere, and then I go ahead and scoop out the ingredients. You want to make sure your avocado is primarily ripe. You can't use a hard avocado. You want to, if you do get an avocado from the store and it's a little bit harder, you want to go ahead and set it out um, overnight. Sometimes it takes a couple of days for it to get softened, um, but definitely set it out so you're soft, but not too soft. You don't want to be um, too soft. You want to be just right. So you take that little nut out there and then you get the avocado out of both halves of it. As you can see, my spoon slides right through there really easily. I'm able to scrape up all of the um, avocado and it, it was just a really good avocado to work with. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my masher and um, go ahead and start mashing my avocado, making it as consistent um, with uh, mashed potatoes, if you will. So basically you're mashing it to a mashed potato consistency. I add no seasoning, no salt, no pepper, nothing to the avocado. I'm just mashing it and that's all I need to do. Now I'm going to go ahead and check on my eggs. As you can see, they're all done. Um, looking really, really good. Smelling absolutely delicious. So my husband loves cheese. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take maybe a half cup of um, just some regular cheddar cheese. You can use Parmesan. You can use whatever cheese you would like to use. There's even some vegan cheeses out there that you can use. And take it off the eye and set it aside and let it melt on its own. I love this bread um, because it has uh, 21 whole grains and seeds. It is very good in fiber. You're going to get a whole lot of benefits from this. It's 110 calories per slice. So you're doing about 220 calories for breakfast, which is fair um, because you're going to do a lot of moving around during the day. Hopefully you get some walking in. So you're going to burn that right off, but you're going to get some of the benefits um, from using this particular bread. And this is actually my favorite 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 bread i do not endorse this company or anything like that it's just really really good bread so i take four slices and then i toast them not soft you want to toast them fairly fairly crunchy for the simple fact that of course you're putting that avocado on there adding some moisture you don't want it to get soggy at the bottom so you want it to be a fairly good crunchy 
So here is my turkey bacon. I use um, uncured turkey bacon. I get mine from Sam's Club. Really nice size turkey bacon. You can get your turkey bacon from anywhere. Cook it, of course, thoroughly through. Then I cut mine in the middle because these are coming pretty big. As you can see, it's really, really hot. <laughs> Burning my hands there. But I cut it in the middle and then I go um, slice them um the shorter way and get me some some dice and squares from my turkey bacon and um, once I get that turkey bacon all cut up I'll set it aside for the next step Now and I'm going to go ahead and put my turkey bacon aside and I'm going to go back to my eggs. As you can see, they look really, really good. Um, in an effort not to scratch up my frying pan, I use a wooden spoon to cut it in fours because, of course, I need four eggs for four open face uh, um, avocado turkey breakfast sandwiches so i'm going to go ahead and take all of my ingredients and i'm gonna first start with the avocado of course now that my uh, toast is all nice and toasted i'm going to go ahead and slide my avocado on all of my toast and um, from edge to edge um, make sure that the whole entire um, sandwich is covered because this is an open face sandwich um, i'm not closing it up um, i wanted to make sure it looked real pretty so i made sure i put the avocado um, from side to side and it is actually really 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 consistent the the spread was really easy to make um, just the mashing of the avocados and it actually gave me the ability to use the spread like a, a butter if you will but a very healthy butter um, the only butter that I did use was the I can't believe it's not butter to cook the eggs because my seasonings are coming from the egg not from anything else and then I go ahead and add my turkey bacon to the uh, avocado toast so go ahead and put it on there um, evenly spread it um, on the avocado toast try to get it as evenly as possible and um, from end to end and it smells absolutely fabulous I cannot wait to try it um, and once I've finished putting all of the avocados on I'm going to go ahead and move on to adding my egg and the eggs look great they smell delicious and go ahead and plate it put it on the plate add you some some garnish i added some fresh grapes nice sweet grapes to it and i'm all done there you go open face avocado breakfast sandwich go ahead and try it like share thanks for watching